Hello, everyone. Well, um, Howard College has decided to go remote. Uh, I'm sure you hopefully have seen that message by now. Um, I mentioned this the first night. We didn't even meet the Monday of the first week, and then we met Monday. Uh, many of you didn't have a lab manual, which is not your fault because we were actually out of them anyway, and we've only met one time. So we're going to have to do something a little different leading up to our first lab exam, which was going to be in class. So here's the schedule. Uh, like I said, didn't we <laughs> did not meet uh, week one. We met the second week, covered some introductory terms, the microscope. Tomorrow's Labor Day. We weren't going to meet then anyway. So week four, we were going to do an experiment. I was going to review, give you a chance to study, and then week five was going to be your first lab exam. So here's what we're going to do instead. We are not going to be doing passive transport. And this is not available to you yet. I'll send you a message. And if you're watching this video, I'm probably going to put it at the top of this page. You're going to do these four things to cover the material that would have been on your first lab exam. I've already added these to the grade book. There are two lab lessons. I'll show you those. And then two assignments. Now, one of the assignments is taking a microscope quiz. I'm going to give you two chances to take that. But they're all located under here. Here's the introductory to A&P stuff. Now, I know we have lab manuals now. Uh, I went ahead and left these up here. These are just outlines uh, from the first, well, that we used to use back in the day. And a PowerPoint. But here's what you're going to do. So. This assignment here is going to require you to do a little, um, I don't know if research is the word, but here's the document. You're going to click on this. You're going to open this up. And it's basically some introductory terminology. And I want you to go through and answer all of these. And you have a week. Well, yeah, you're going to basically have a week and a half to do this. I'm going to leave it open. For a while, you had to check the My Grades tab for that. But this was, you know, week four and five. Four, we were going to do an experiment. Five was going to be your test, and you were going to leave. So save this to your computer. Answer all the questions. You don't have to cite where you get your information. You can use OpenStax. But fill all this in. When you're done, save it to your computer. And then right here is where you would click. Okay, it says Monday, September 20th. That's when it's due. You would browse your files like that and um, you know click on that document and that's where you would upload it you're going to turn that in for a grade if you don't have word which you have access to as a howard students where you set up your email you can get the entire student um, office for microsoft this write submission you can copy it <clears throat> anything from another format <clears throat> excuse me and you could paste it in that box right there if you don't want to use a Word document. So this is assignment one. Um, this is going to be part of, you're getting a grade called class activities. This one's going to be under that particular grade. If you do a good job, it's very easy to get a good grade on it. Be thorough with your answers. Okay. Um, so that's one thing. The other you're going to do, this is going to be basically your lab exam, but um, you get to do it as many times as you want. So it says here, start the lesson. Um, don't worry about the shield or anything that says anything relating to a flash player that's no longer available. I'm going to go through the first couple of pages, but starting on page three, Here's the beginning, and here are the questions. I want you to go through, answer all these questions. I'm going to click on this. I'm not even reading them. Anyway, I got one out of nine. But you can do these as many times as you want. You can retry them. It does collapse down, but you can do these as many times as you want until you get 100. And I believe this one has 40 questions. Just go through, answer them all, turn it in that's going to be counted as a lab exam grade. All right, I'm going to go back to the microscope um, here. Okay, now you are going to have down here, it says click here for the assignments. 
Here is another lab lesson, same thing. You're going to go through, this one's a little shorter. Go through this, answer the questions based on the microscope. Um, I guess they're on the last page, it looks like. Here they are. Oh, how to do it. Anyway, so right there, it says 10 questions. Oh my goodness, that picture's gotten small. Some drag and drops and some questions about the microscope. Same thing. Look, I'm going to do that, check my answer. Oh, I picked right, actually. Um, I don't know. Let me just pick. Hopefully, I'll get that one wrong. Okay, there we go. So anyway, you can do these as many times as you want to get 100. And then when you're done, you're going to click the finish button at the end to submit your assignment. There's a finish button at the end of both of those lessons. Okay, assignment number two is actually a quiz. And it says you have 45 minutes. Once you click on this, and it's all multiple choice, you can minimize the little instructions there with the little chevron. But they're multiple choice and matching, things like that. That's what we're going to do for the first lab exam. You're actually not going to take a lab exam. We're going to do these four things. There's four assignments total. And then we're going to reassess and see where we are in a couple of weeks as far as how we're going to do the rest of the class. Oh, so there's the list up here, complete the lab lesson one and two, and that assignment that has the terms, and I know it's called an assignment, but it's actually a quiz. And those are going to be under the class activity grade in, your, in this class. Okay, uh, just check your announcements and email me if you have any questions.